friends, Catherine and Erica here from Catherine Puller Designs. This is the Arctic. Winter One <laughs> Winter Wonders, Winter Wonders <laughs> Collection Sorry. Release Party. Uh, this is part two. part two. So raise your hand for your love of technology. Oh. And getting cut off <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of so, your card making. Yeah. It happens. And guys, we we're mm -hmm. so sorry. We have a uh, very little idea as to why sometimes the internet just does not Text want to be our off. friend. Yep. Yep. But if you were with us before and you see anybody wondering if we are still here, point them in the right direction. Thank you for sharing this video. Um, and just thanks for your patience when things like that happen. Glad to see a bunch of you are already, already found Back us. with us. Yes. Will you do a share to the Facebook page? Yes. Thank you for your patience, you guys. So, sentiments. I um, lately have been, been having a little bit of trouble, like when I stamp a sentiment and then cut it out myself, getting it to be straight. And so I've been really pulling my dies out more and using them for cutting my sentiments out instead of going hands-free with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, this is our diagonal, what? Uh, it's called angled strips. Angled strips cover plate. Uh -huh. I like to have a bunch already die cut, so then I can do something like this. Actually, those sentiments look a little bit close to me. Let me try to do it again and see if I like it any better. I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. for those die hard fans who quickly Have pivoted. Found us. <laughs> yes, thank you guys. Guys, don't, we have no idea what happened. Nope. We were chatting away, and then I was like, wait, what happened? <clears throat> Randall came in, he's like, you know, you're, you uh, lost. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have any answers for us, though. <laughs> there, that feels better. There's a little bit of space between the two sentiments. Erica, yeah? you know what I'm really wanting? Tell me. I want, um, what's it called? A pine cone? A juniper mist pine cone. Okay. Will you die cut it for me? Of course I will. Thanks. It would give me no greater pleasure in life. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, Diane, your internet is sad because we haven't made a black and gold card oh, no. yet. Is that why it kicked us off? Is that what you're saying? Oh. <laughs> the internet was like, forget it. They this is neither black nor you're gold. You're done. This is blue. No more live streams for you. None for you. Wait, did you want this sentiment? Because it's going to get messed up. No, I don't want it. Oh, okay. All right, let's start gluing together. And I also wonder if we should do a snow. Nah, I think that's too much. Oh. Slightly cockeyed. Here you go. Thanks. Tu welcomes. Welcomen. What happened here? You are so international lately. <laughs> I can't get her to speak English. I don't even know what I, I just said. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was like so She's got her of accents going on. Visiting She's Bush like, Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh guys, I'm gonna here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can't get Catherine to make that black and gold card as a as a reel. I was thinking about doing it tomorrow. Oh. Well don't tell them that because then if you don't, they'll still I let know. down. So what you need to one one thing, I need to get it started. Mm -hmm. I need to get the wheels turning and in, in motion before I go live with you guys. Yeah. And <clears throat> and I haven't been able to do that yet. That's part of my problem. No. I'm just gonna trim off any excess that's peeking out. Here. Sometimes um Things don't always go exactly according to plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. we just have to kind of roll with it. Friends. Ooh, a brown owl with gold tipped wings. Oh, I'm doing that because mm -hmm. I still have this. That's a pretty idea. Yeah, we're going to try that. So I have um, now my youngest child is mm -hmm. 17 years mm -hmm. old. It's her birthday today. Happy How did birthday, Eva Kaniva! Oh, she was so cute when she was tiny. She's adorable, those big brown eyes. Her big eyes. eyes, oh my goodness. And I torment and tease my children every birthday, the day or two before what I was doing during the day at different times and stuff. So 
So last night I started with the stories and she was so funny, so teenagery. Oh my gosh, mom, here we go. <laughs> I always tell the story about when she was, when I was in labor for her. Um, I knew once she was born, the big girls were gonna come in with my in-laws. And so I wanted to make sure, this is hilarious that it was important to me at the time. I'm in labor and I was thinking about the fact that when they arrived, they're gonna have pictures taken and they're gonna need to have their hair brushed. Hair done. So I sent Randall to the car and I said, oh Randall, I have plenty of time. It's, you go to the car, get the hair brush, we'll be ready to go. We have plenty of time. By the time he came back, I was about to pop her out. You had given birth. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> he came in and it was like, it is go time. So funny. Things happened fast there at the end with a third child. As the third child, I'll tell you, my mom's concern about my hair being brushed was slim to none. It wasn't your hair that had to be brushed. It was the big sister's No, hair. I know, but I'm oh. saying. She didn't care anymore? No. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, they have to look cute in the pictures of the scrapbook, everyone. There was a girl when I was in high school that had lived in my neighborhood. But we didn't really know each other super well. And she told me that it bothered her when we were kids that my mom didn't brush my hair. <laughs> Which my mom did brush my hair. And I was like, interesting. Oh, wow. Interesting. Thanks for letting me know that. <laughs> Some things we keep to ourselves. <laughs> my hair was curly, so it kind of just did its own thing. <laughs> and my mom did brush it, but thanks. <laughs> well, number one, blue owl. That's really pretty. Yeah. Let's see what kind of gold accents we can add. Yeah. So these are all the CP powders. Uh huh. Um, Do we even have any of these left? It's very risky for me to show. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dana, we did give away a couple of cards the other day. The snowflake ones, we had winners from those. And those actually, um, you were signing them earlier. Yeah. They're on my desk. They're they're writing ready notes. To go out. Writing notes on those. So we said gold tip wings. Mm, that's what she said. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Boy, just got quiet. We were concentrating on your glue placement. So you guys, if you're working with embossing powder and you just want to add a little something, something here or there, you can use glue and then heat set it. Um, there's also a couple of different little tools that WoW makes, like a little mm -hmm. brush, and, mm -hmm. but it kind of depends on, yeah, the pen would work. Mm -hmm. what you're trying to do but you still want to you still need to heat set the embossing powder because that makes it melt and then it stays on the card otherwise with the glue there you probably would have some that sticks but a lot of it would just brush off oh that's pretty thanks yeah that's a really good idea he might need an embellished crown Ooh. To add a little okay. balance. Where did my crown stay? Don't know. I already put it back. <laughs> so what if the crown was embossed? Yeah. And I not colored in or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have my scrap? I do. Paper? Use this. Wonderful. Good <clears throat> ideas. I love when we make cards together like this. Okay, so we'll do a gold crown. Again, oh I goodness. did. Yes, How you guys. Happen? She can't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> My name's getting worn off. I probably need to refresh that. All right. Oh, that's pretty. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting that out. <clears throat> Wonderful. Ooh, that's really pretty. I want to make sure it's nice and dry before I put it through because I don't want to squish idea. it. There we go. So I feel 
feel like I want to do some with this too. So maybe I stamp that and then you could do. Here's my Misty. Here's this pretty crown. There's the crown. Okay. Oh, so cute. That is really pretty. Whose idea was it for the gold tip wings? Do you remember? Um, I do remember, but it'll take me a minute to muster that in my brain. Okay. So if it was your idea, Christiana, to do gold maybe? tip, leave a comment. I think it was Christiana. Um, hello, Susie in Illinois. Hello, Ronnie in Oregon. Welcome, welcome. Yvonne, I'm glad you have fun with us. We try to have fun. <laughs> We also just try to roll with things. <laughs> Rolling with things is our specialty. That's our speciality. <laughs> That's a fun way you can say that word. Speciality. <laughs> speciality. <laughs> Kim, I love that your screen name is Kim in Alaska. Because every time I see it, I think in my head, Kim lives in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jenny in Australia. What part of the AU are you joining us from? I like to know that. I've never, never encountered someone who lives in Alice where my sister lives. Oh, really? Yeah. People always live in, I think it's a, I think a lot of um, military kind of people live there. So, but I, there are Australians who live there, but I've not encountered any in our crew of folks. Is the powder tool thing in the shop? Do we still have this those? One? Yeah. Sold out. What? Oh my goodness. I'm you guys sure. are wild. So we will be ordering more, of course. Is Jenny still here? Yes. Oh, so you mean on the live though? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Natalie in LA. Oh, Jenny, you're in Taz you're in Tasmania. Oh, I love that they're all coming in and Tasmania. saying that now. Everyone. Put in the comments, yes. Catherine in North Carolina or Catherine in Raleigh. I want to see everyone put their names in their places. That's awesome. Elizabeth, Scotland is one of my favorite places in the world. So Elizabeth I, in Scotland. I also need to know where in Scotland you live. One of my good friends is getting married January 3rd. And I'm going to her wedding in the UK. And her grandparents are from Scotland. And I was like, darn it, I should have gone over before she got married so we could go visit her grandparents. Because oh. once she gets married, that's not happening. Yeah. She's going to want to hang out with her husband and not me. <sighs> Can you believe it? <laughs> okay. So we'll do greetings. <laughs> and then... Oh, Pam in Utah. What kind of card should we make? Birthday, holiday... Well, this one being all glam and gold and glittery, I think it should make maybe something kind of. Well, it could just say greetings, good friend, or something like that. That's fun. Oh, I like that. Or cheerful greetings. <clears throat> Nicole's in Reno. Sarah's in Florida. You're near. You're near Edinburgh. Okay, I've been to Edinburgh. This way. Diane from Massachusetts. Belinda in Texas. Trinity mm. in Leonburg, Germany. I love it. Allie in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Melanie in Naples, Florida. Jules, you're in Calabash. Hey, friend. Oh. Anne Marie in Texas. A Texan living in exile in Oklahoma. Anne Marie, yes. <laughs> Linda in Washington State. You guys, this is <laughs> fun. <laughs> Sue in Connecticut. Lisa in Utah, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Dana in Nashville. Bernice in Santa Cruz. That sounds like a beautiful part of California. I know very little about California, but I've been to San Diego, full stop. I slept in a monastery. What? <laughs> slept in a monastery hmm. on the way to Mexico. Brent is in Fort Myers. The Elizabeth, um, we mostly just use this Sizzex Big Shot machine for die cutting most of the time. Little manual hand crank baby. It's an old faithful. Mm -hmm. And that one works quite consistently. So, 
Joan in Carolina Beach. What? Joan. Um, all right. So, Joan in Carolina Beach, do yeah. you have flooding this weekend with that nor'easter? Oh. Heat wave in Connecticut. It's in the 60s soon. You're hilarious. So, I think we need some kind of... I mean, yeah, we do. Flourish. Grounding element. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Laura in Kentucky. And then, I think, I, I might want... Piece. So this, this is guy. the scallops and dies, or scallops and dots dies that you have been using like it is your job. It lately. is my job. Mm -hmm. She is a big fan <laughs> of this set of little nesting dies. They're made um, in a similar fashion to our postage stamp dies, in the sense that you've got a little scallop die and a little square uh, rectangle die, and you can make frames out of them, or you can nest pieces together, and they are very versatile. Um, and they are sized to fit on a regular card front. <laughs> mm, she said. <laughs> Ponce, you're also in L.A. Debbie in Texas. I was struggling with my layers. And there, we got them. So Karen just wanted. Got it at 6 a.m. and made her order. Oh. Karen, that is commitment. So here's the scallops and dots. Chow, where, where are you? Oh, there you are. How's the baby, Chow? Little bitty baby. Uh, Joan said, yes, not at our house, but around the ocean. It was terrible with the flooding. Yeah. Carolina Beach is where I went for my friend's mm -hmm. craft thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's going on over there? I am thinking really hard. That's uh -huh. why I'm not saying anything. <laughs> She's concentrating, guys. You know what I what I want to say before you put that down? Mm. What if you integrated something like this in into the mix? Would that be too much? Mm. Maybe. Sh show them what this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the pine uh, background stamp. I wondered if that on that little layer could be kind of interesting. So like, I did it might do be too this. Late. Like I mean, cut one of those. Oh. Oh, you like this better? I do like that. What if we cut cut that with the scallop die? Is that wild? Or even the little rectangle stitched one? I think it's wonderful. <laughs> um, so th this, we may be setting that aside. Is that I do Beth like this. in Medin, I, our friend? I do like this. Yes, okay. What did I okay, so there's one thing that I was having issue with, and that's what was circulating in my brain. Like when I just had this white piece of paper and I put the greetings down here, yep. the size of these elements yeah. together, I had to put the owl over here. Mm -hmm. And there's all this weird white space over mm -hmm. here, and I wasn't digging that. So then I grabbed this, and then here, and then still things kind of were so like, clouded. Yes. So if we ditch that and ditch this and grab this and do it like this now i don't have all this weird open white space because mm -hmm. there's stuff going on there so erica <sighs> i'm a genius genius oh sorry brilliant <laughs> wonderful <laughs> ponzi this is what the <laughs> scalloping dot dies look like yes they're nesting with uh the dotted rectangle frame and then the scallop dies so there's a bunch of different ones that layer into one another and then this is full size, so it's. I'm not going to cut it down because oh. I think it's gorgeous. Sue said you could have just gone horizontal. Then you have more room for everything. I was starting with that as well, and I ch I changed it for some reason. Let's see. Oh, Chow, she's three months old. Goodness gracious, where does yeah, it go? Yeah, I didn't have enough room to this way. Right? Okay, fair enough. So if you're going to use the greetings die with the owl... Because of the size, you're gonna have to scoot him over like this, but then over patterned paper or a background like this, we're looking awesome. But I'm really vibing with how this kind of humps with the end. Like you can kind of, mm. I, I like them there. overlapped a little mm -hmm. bit because I think it still looks really pretty. Fantastic. 
wonderful. Here I go with the glue. She's she's at it. It's happening now. So, <laughs> oh, they like the pine pine cone background. We're saying yes, yay to that. Okay, fantastic. TJ, you found us. Glad you were able to find us here. Thanks for bearing with yeah, us. Yeah, you guys. Thanks for, for all the things that are going on here. <laughs> We carry on. If if you are tuning in later and you couldn't find us, I hope you found the replay. Um, thank you for coming to see what we've been working on, see our new products in action, supporting Catherine's channel. Thank you for liking the channel and subscribing. Those things help us to be able to continue to find more crafty folks like you who would like to hang out with us and... Get inspired for card making. Yeah, you could make a bigger, like a five by seven card. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, because there are some really large things here that could really mm -hmm. play up well. Also, if you're a scrapbooker, these owls are just, and these stamps even that Catherine's using this cheerful greetings would be fantastic on a scrapbook spread. We'll do a little direct to paper with sage. <laughs> TJ, you're in IT. You should maybe come and help us with <laughs> whatever it is that happens when YouTube or Facebook gets mad and just decides it to kick us off <laughs> in the middle of the live. So, icing on the cake for the greeting mm -hmm. right over the sage. Oh. And then we'll trim that down. Could leave that little like that. Uh huh. It's a little long though. Thanks for the likes, guys. It's really sweet. We appreciate it. Yes, we love likes. <laughs> there. That's nice. That looks great. Oh, yeah. I feel like this needs to be a little banner end though. So I'll just take a little snip in the center and then go from the corner to the bottom of that snip on both sides and it makes a really nice banner end. Boom. So That's I'm nice gonna song. say that I feel like the crown makes the owl look very regal, mm -hmm. but I think without the crown, this could also be a great masculine card because of the color combo and just like totally would work. I think it still makes a great masculine card even with, with the, the crown. Mm -hmm. That's just that extra bit of bling. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Thanks, guys. What about some sequins? Um, <clears throat> might I suggest Oak, uh, Oak City? Aha! Is that what you grabbed? Erica and I were on the same page. <laughs> this is our Ode to Raleigh mix. Raleigh is referred to as the Oak City. And um, it's a gorgeous mix of kind of antique golds and coppers um, with some like off white confetti, and it's really classy. Very classy. And it looks great with this wooded kind of feel of mm -hmm. the card. Oh, the crown reminds you of Hawaii. Oh, I totally get that Polynesian vibe. That's cool. Hmm hard to decide and the the men wear those that's when you called it like a headdress ah. when they do their dances there we go let me zoom out a little oh no bonnie you had flooding in your basement oh that stinks so two cards with the owl and they have very different vibes and feels but very similar Mm -hmm. things were used so yeah. it's it's so great to see what a big difference just from a different color combo you get yep and gold embossing powder on this one glitter embossing or embossing glitter on here this uh with the pine forest background and in ink blending <clears throat> this just with a cover plate and a little ink blending so similar techniques just different colors and slight difference in the in the overall embellishments and oh I kind of want some. What's happening? Where are my Omaha sequins? I need some blue sequins on oh. here. You think? Yeah. Oh. They went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they all 
love them both. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat> I really like this sequin. I'm not going to... Uh, it's too pinky, I think, though. What about some clear? You want a couple um, of, like, Crater, Crater Lake? Lake? Oh, that's really pretty. Always can add in Crater Lake. Yeah. Boom. Pretty, pretty. All right. Oh, done, done. So said, thank you for going live today. You're welcome. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. We appreciate you guys. Yes, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging and joining us here for part two. Again, the Winter mm -hmm. Wonders Collection is in our shop yes. now and available to you to shop and choose your favorites. We have our items both. You can get them a la carte or you can buy bundles. Mm -hmm. You do save a little when you buy in bundles. And we also have that one click I want it all bundle mm -hmm. button um, that is available to you. Let us know if you have any questions. Yeah. We will go live on Friday on Facebook. Uh, we will be creating more with this collection, and I think I might give a sneak peek of the upcoming Cersei. Oh, <sighs> that's happening. That's fine. We'll see you on Friday on Facebook, guys. Yep. We'll see you.